Hi, it's Patricia. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well. So in today's video, what I want to talk to you about is, it's Halloween, witches and warlocks and wizards and viziers and any other manner of role or mask you've ever played. So today, what today's subject is, is on the tail end of a lot of the fears is the emotion. Now, we're coming up to a new moon that traditionally here in the United States has been the water moon. And water is emotion. And I'm going to talk to you about a few things having to do with these energies. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about November and December because there's been a lot of questions on people's minds. And I want to just uh, sort of expand on that, if I may. So today's topic is Twin Flame, the emotion of your light body. And what a lot of people are perceiving, uh, traditionally around this time of year, this is uh, the thinning of the veil. What does that mean? That means that around this time of year, with people having purged things over the past several months, they were able to perceive things through dimensions, through levels. And that means what some people call the thinning of the veil. They were able to connect with ancestors, spirits, and even have spirits conjured up. Or really, what amounts to thought forms? because it is no longer going to be the actual spirit body of a real person. That part is done and concluding. So the thought forms are still leaving people. And yeah, they're giving people a run for their money. But the coming through the veil is coming through the dimensional barrier. Also traditionally around this time, you have a lot of people who celebrate the Day of the Dead. And yet the dead or people you may have perceived as not awake, such as your own very twin, or even people around you, such as coworkers, people at stores, people at venues that you go to. They're coming out into this full moonlight. I do want to make a special note that some people are not here yet. They are coming in from the ethers to land, and you're getting uh, some people are getting their twin. What you're really getting is the parts of you. And that is what I talk about with your light body. Your light body has five major subtle bodies. And what's coming through the veil are parts of you. They're still connecting to that human that you might have dissed or kicked or somehow disregarded or wrote off. And I understand that people don't really like behaviors, but none of this is actually over, even if you think in your head that it might be over. That might be good news for some people. The other thing that I want to let you know is all of the deep Urantian retrograde stuff is shifting and purging, and it will go on to January. This is going to have a lot to do with conflict, disharmony from the etheric and the emotional body. And the parts of you that are affected are the emotional body, which is heart, chest, lungs, kidneys, and this has a lot to do with water. So some of you, I've got something to show you here. Some of you might recognize, oh gosh. Some of you might recognize what this is. Do you see what that is? For those of you that don't know, this is called a negative. This is how film used to be developed it. And it used to be a negative or reversal of what was actually photographed. Now, the reason that I have this is just a short expression. Between my ears is a dark space where I process my negatives. And that too has a lot to do with what's happening with the emotions. It has to quite literally come out of you. It is coming out of a lot of people. And some of you may have that sense of vertigo. You're going to have it again. Another thing to mention about these energies is that the portals are tightening up for you. 
you might also have a diminished effect where you don't quite feel it as intensely but you still feel things that's a good sign that means that you've done quite a bit now I also have since it's Halloween a little thing to do here and as you know our intrepid twin flame couple keeps trying to get themselves together and they try and they each have their side of things that they're doing and in spirit with Halloween I went to a concert the other night and they played the music from the Phantom of the Opera and I just felt it was so appropriate to these energies of the emotions of some of the deep stuff that comes out and of course there's you know one feminine juxtaposition to two masculines and what does she do and it gets a little weird for her okay like really weird but I'm going to do two of the duets from there and to start off we have our intrepid heroine okay singing what is her side of things and a lot of you will feel this as something very familiar to you in sleep he sang to me in dreams he came that voice which calls to me and speaks my name and do I dream again for now I find the phantom of the opera is there inside my mind and then he's got some lines where he says sing once again with me a strange duet my power over you goes stronger yet and though you turn from me to glance behind the phantom of the opera is there inside my mind okay and what is he saying the phantoms and the ghost and the ghost of everything passed between them it's been connected to the mind it's been connected to other parts of them and yes he is not wishing to truly be seen all right there he is and he's saying don't see me I will be the one okay but that's really heavy and yet, and yet that's some of the stuff that has happened in the past it has been those power plays of things that people just really they're so done with it you don't want to keep perpetuating it and even better news these parts of you can't but it's a little bit painful while it comes out the things that have gone back and forth the times when one of you can't recognize the other I don't even know whose this is who are you I felt you but I, I can't penetrate anything here and you know same on the other side very flowery and feminine and yet what's really behind things and both the masculine and feminine has had stuff they really have a lot of feminine have forgotten some of the dark things that they've been up to like certain things like poisoning and other kinds of behaviors now everyone has their behaviors but by now these two are considerably lightened up some of the stuff is off and he's ready here he's is coming from the ethers to land he is coming to her and he's saying no more talk of darkness forget these wide-eyed fears I'm here 
nothing can harm you. My words will warm and calm you. Let me be your freedom. Let me dry your tears. I'm here, always beside you, to guard you and to guide you. To which she says, Say you love me every waking moment. Turn my head with talk of summertime. Promise me that all you say is true. Let me be your shelter. Let me be your light. You're safe. No one will find you. Your fears are far behind you. If that's true, that's all I ask of you. Okay, I don't have time to do the whole duet here, but you get the idea. From a higher level, the masculine has dealt with quite a few things. And I may remind everyone that masculine is inside her and ma feminine is inside him. That's something that twins tend to forget. And that, you know, push that goes on, what's supposed to happen here? Okay, it all just needs to go. All of the ancient history needs to go. And that is exactly what's happening with them. So that the dead stuff can leave. The day of the dead, anything that you've been up to, any time that you've died. And yes, your bodies are putting you through dying a thousand deaths to be here. And if it's not you, it's your twin going through it right now. What does that require? Well, what would it require if someone you love is getting healed? What would it require if someone you love is getting surgery? What if there is some aftercare that's needed? And that's also what I'm here to talk about, the what do you do? Now, this may be very new to some people. So if this is new to you, welcome. If you're on a twin flame journey, if you feel that you've gone back and forth, and I'm going to say one other thing. Music is a modicum of communication from the cosmic heart level. When you're somewhere and you hear music or lyrics, and it clicks with your heart, and it may not click with anyone else, that's you two speaking to each other. That's you two encouraging each other. Don't be discouraged. You are getting those exactly when you need it. So for these parts of your body, and that is the information I have. I have the information about the connections to the human body, the new chakras. I have the information about your subtle bodies, your aura. I also have meditations to help you with things from beyond the human level. So I have a webinar coming up. This is a live webinar. The topic is still the twin within. This is part four of the series, finding each other. And in here, I will talk about your planetary origins, your cosmic level, because that's where some of this stuff is coming from. What does that mean? It means planets use star seeds. Some of you are the star seeds from other places. You might resonate with it. You might even like science fiction. What's called science fiction might actually resonate with you a lot more than some other things. But I have that information in there. I talk about dreams, the importance of dreams and the interpretation of dreams. Your dreams will be very revealing at times and sometimes very disturbing. The finding each other within the twin within. This is what we focus on, and I lead you through several channel opening exercises, and I supply you with the aftercare of what do you do to continue going and keep getting deeper and deeper with each other. So that everything you say to each other is true, so that it's a continuation of your love story. This is your love story. So I'm doing them 
November 2nd, one at 8 a.m., November 3rd, one at 7 p.m. So the 8 a.m. one, that's Chicago time. That's good for people in the UK, Europe, East Coast of the United States, South America, also in um, African countries. And November 3rd at 7 p.m. Chicago time. Central Standard Time, this doesn't mean Chicago time, this means Central Standard Time, the center of my country. And what that means is uh, it's a very good one for people on the west coast of the United States, Hawaii, Australia, India, Asia, so, so countries like Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia, Korea, come and join. The links are going to be below in the description. I also have two other webinars that are pre-recorded, and they will be very helpful for what we're going into to November here. So November is the quickening, okay? So this is the water, this is the return of the emotion, okay? And I wanna just give you an example here. How many people do you know that when they feel emotions, okay, they become very stony about it, okay? There they are, they don't want anyone to see them, and they're just saying, don't see me. You're making me feel something. I don't want you to see me. What are you trying to do anyway? Make me cry? You, you keep doing this to me. Then comes the blame. It's your fault that I felt this. Where's that blame coming from? Okay, it's coming from ancient history. And people want to sometimes say, get off, get, up, get away. What do animals do when they are abused? Okay, at first they cower, and then sometimes when they're taken to a place where they can start to recover themselves, they need to recapture their spirit again, their voice. And sometimes they get snarly. Sometimes they bite back. Sometimes they warn with their teeth, uh, get away from me. I'm not sure of what I'll do. It's no different with, than with some angels that have been through things. And that may not be this life. And many times it is another life, another time and place where this kind of thing has had to happen for self-protection. I'm not excusing bad behavior. What I'm saying is the core reasons behind it have been moved and now you need to gather yourselves in. That's what the harvest is. It's gathering things, the parts of you that belong to you within the light body with complete transparency. So if you want to use another harvest analogy, some of you thought you were going to get a juicy ripe tomato and you picked a green tomato. You went prematurely to your twin and said stuff and you got the tartness and you got the sourness that was not ready. It was premature. Not ready, not ready. This is going to be a time of readiness, the quickening for a lot of people from the inside. The light bulbs you're hoping are going to go off, and they will. That's not until after that, okay? It has to start from the inside. And yes, some of these storms that we're having, the water is emotion. The water rinses things out. Right after those two major hurricanes, the collective was feeling it. You weren't feeling good about it. You were feeling the weepiness, the moods, the sadness. You were feeling bereft. That happens. Then came anger. Now is going to come more emotion so you can feel each other. But find out how to expand your body so you can do this. That is what I cover in these two. Divine Lovers Cosmic Body Reconnection. This has information about your cosmic level things. The cosmic level grid, and that means favorite planets. So some of those places that some of you know you're from, I talk about quite a few topics in there because this is quite a bit of material. Expansion of love, this one is still valid. And yes, I wrote this in November two years ago and it's pertinent because when a Blu-ray goes through it, I went through it, I formatted it, I developed it, I came up with the meditations guided by my higher self to assist. And it is valid now for the people who are coming together. If you have a twin that is going to go through this quickening, 
you know, this secondary activation on the inside, and you will feel each other, okay? And you still have to navigate this. Find out how. The expansion of love, your cosmic subtle body elevation, cosmic level grid, the grid work, um, how to expand, where you're expanding from, what is happening with the body itself, because that does throw a lot of people off. And I just want to say something here. It's not that the help isn't here. Sometimes by the time it gets to the physical level, people are going to the doctor or hospital. A lot of people are anyway. A lot of people get sick and can't really connect it to a twin flame. You know, they can't sit there and say, oh my goodness, I had a sore throat. Does that mean that you're coming? Except it does. And he will say, you know, similar things. I had all these headaches. What does it mean? Maybe it's something I ate. No, your body is getting prepared, but there is easier ways to do it. And even though your body is purging things out, do you know the difference between detoxing and ascension symptoms? Because not everything is an ascension symptom, and you have to know about some of this. So I'm encouraging you here to try something that is very reasonable that you actually keep with you. That could ho I would hope that it would avoid a trip to the doctor for one or both of you. It's not replacing going for your regular medical checkups or if you really do need that. I talk about the metaphysical parts of the body, the subtle bodies. But what I'm saying is by the time it gets to the physical level, you need other care. You need some things. And I started by doing this through body work, and I actually started when I was 19. I didn't know all of this at age 19, but I started when I was 19 doing some body work. I was doing uh, twin flame body work 10 years ago. Okay, and I also do that in person. So I know quite a bit about the body. I'm not here to diminish any of my work because that wouldn't be valuing the gift that I have and the work that I've done. I've done quite a bit of work here. There is a body of work and it's all um, pertinent. But I get guidance on which ones are pertinent for these times that you're going into. So while you may gather your information, try this out because the light codes are in there. Removing the conflict, you still have to customize to yourself the template of brand new 5D relationship. The template for 5D living. And contrary to what pe some people may think or report out there, we are not merging 3D and 5D Earth together. No. There's a reason for it. It didn't work. It doesn't work. Okay? You are merging with yourself to get to 5D. That is the distinction here. And no, not everyone is going at the same time, but everyone is going. Okay? So it's not valid to say it's not for this lifetime or it's not for certain people or it's only for certain twins. That's not valid either. In fact, that's exclusionary. I could tell you just from the amount of work that I've participated in as a Blu-ray Twin Flame, I sure hope people grab on because at the very least, this has been done to benefit everyone. Okay, everyone, whether or not they latch on to it. Okay, so if you're letting other people's minds talk you out of something that your heart is telling you is true, take a step back, feel it for yourself. Feel what resonates for you. And then take a step forward. If you don't know what to do, do nothing for that day. Okay, get the negatives out. Let it just keep being peeled out, you know, peeled right out until you can feel calm and you pause. Another thing that I'm talking in about here is breathing in a certain way so that you are breathing through the channels that you share with your twin. That has a lot to do with your light body as well. So... I hope that um, this has been very enlightening for you. The Uranus retrograde is driving a lot of this, a lot of what people are calling the masculine, and it's true. You each have masculine. You each have taken turns being one or the other. Some men have been females, and some females have been males. You took a turn finding out about that duality. Now you're collapsing it. I'm this, you're that. That's duality. 
and you're coming back into your oneness and it's your love story and real love stories don't have endings so the other thing with this energy has been false things are coming out or and or false comforts false comforts are always all, all coming out as well okay the deeper part of this has been to change you to be transformative to have you live harmoniously together and to be home with each other and you do that by being one again so thanks so much for listening I hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend I'm trying to stay out of the Sun here it was we have a rare October sunny day right before Halloween doesn't always happen like this thank you for indulging my singing um, I have a lot of fun doing it um, this is uh, I'm gonna coin a phrase here twinny yoki what's twinny yoki twinny yoki is like karaoke except it's the songs that resonate with your union there you go okay so have a great day have a wonderful week and I hope to see you here the links are below bye now